All right, so I've launched into Windows 10 here, and what we're going to do is install the latest version of Python so you see what it's like in Windows 10. I assume, though, that you've watched the Install Python on Mac video, which came just before this one, so I'm not going to go over all the little details as, as I did in the Mac video. First of all, if you notice down here, you'll see that I have Python 3.5 installed, and you see the IDLE. IDLE is sure for, is the Integrated Development Environment for Python. And if I go into Windows, and if I go into my most used apps, you can see I used Python a lot. Or if I scroll down, MNNOP, so 3.5, here it is, so I can launch it. And there we go. But what we want is we want to install the latest version of the Python well, Python itself, so we want Python 3.6. So let me close this. Let's launch the web browser right here. And we're going to go into python.org slash downloads, download latest version for Windows. So, of course, the Python website, it detects that I'm using Windows here. And so it shows me the Windows download options. If you want to get really nerdy, you can check out the differences between Python 2 and 3, but you don't really need to do that right now. So just click on this button and you see down here it's installing Python. Well, it's downloading rather the Python installer. Let's go there. So I've dragged the installer onto the desktop. Let's just install this. Double click. Blah, blah, blah. Install launcher for all users. Recommend it. Sure. Add Python 3.6 to the path. Sure. Essentially, the path allows Windows to be able to know where the Python app is placed on the computer, where it's installed on the computer. Don't worry about that for now. Just put it in the path for now. And install launcher for all users. Sure. And then you go install now. Depending on the speed of your computer, this could take a few minutes to install. So what's this? Disable path length limit. Changes your machine configuration to allow programs, including Python, to bypass the 260 character limit. Yeah, might as well. All right, so setup was successful, ready to go. So let's, uh, we don't need this installer anymore, so I'm just going to delete that. Now let's go into our, uh, there we go. Where you see we got Python 3.6, 32-bit. We also have Python 3.5. So let's drag this to our taskbar here. All right, so we got 3.6, 3.5, recently added, right, right here. We scroll down, there we go, Python 3.6. You see, you can have both versions of Python. There would be no reason to keep Python 3.5 at the same time. Whatever, I'm just going to keep it there for now. I'm going to right-click here, 3.6. I double-clicked. Here we go, we're in Python 3.6. It's pretty cool. We can type in our commands. We can type in print. Let's say Python on oops, Windows 10. Woohoo! So hit enter. Now, this is called the Python shell, as we learned in the Mac install video. This is the Python IDE as well. Basically, this allows you to uh, this is the Python shell. We're going to get into the IDE in the next video. So let me just close this up. Another thing you can do, since you have Python installed on Windows, you can go to Windows and go to uh, Command Prompt. So we're going to find, uh, go into the Windows, Windows, I think it's in, it's either Accessories, no, it's in System, excuse me, there we go, Command Prompt. So command prompt is basically a direct way to talk to your computer. So if we want to know what version of Python we have on our Windows machine, we can type in Python dash dash version. Boom. It says we have Python 3.6. So if we want to launch Python, we just type in Python and it launches the latest version of Python. So again, we can issue commands right in here. It's going to keep it short. And it spits back the response, hi. Now, this is usable, but the problem is you don't see any color coding, right? It's kind of uh, it's kind of boring, but if you work with the Python shell, 
in, in the IDLE. You notice how when we type in our Python code, it color codes it for us so that it's nice and easy. See? So you know with the Python shell, color codes the print command, it color codes our text in green, etc. 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 So from now on, on both Windows and Mac, I'm going to be using either Python shell or the Python IDEL app. Let me show you what that looks like. File. Well, you know what? We're going to wait for the next video to get into that. So there you go. You've installed Python on Windows. Now we're ready to write some code.